this will be my last trapping video for 2019 2020 I saved up a bunch of days there we're gonna try to put them all into one it's a lot of work to do this it's a lot more work to film it even parts of it uh, if you would it helps me a lot like comment subscribe share do whatever you can do I appreciate it and I thank y'all for watching but remember it's a trapping video if you don't want to see it turned off let's go see oh my I got the camera turned oh uh, I think we got something here let's see if we can see it there uh, should have brought my stick way tore it up Got a bandit. They're finally starting to breed, I guess. Oh, well, you're a pretty one. Ooh, mean, are you? All right, I'm gonna talk to you in a bit. Well, that's about the darkest coyote I ever seen. Ain't very big. It sure is dark. I'll bet that's a female. Dag on that thing, pretty. Ooh, it's rubbed or got mange or something. We'll see. Now, yeah, it's very, very muddy out. So, guess who walked in? Look how black that tail is. I walked all the way in here. I'm either gonna have to call for help or I gotta carry this coyote all the way out. A lot of black. Wow, that thing's black. I don't know, he might be rubbed just a little bit, but he's wet and muddy. I can't tell. He ain't got the mange. So, that's a good thing. Well, look how pretty that tail is. Glad to get him out here. It's definitely a male, <laughs> intact. Uh, he's going to stretch about uh, 36, 38 inches. Nice chompers. Uh, took me forever to get a coyote. I ain't been seeing no sign till just the other day. Keep I'm on later. going. As a possum made a big mess out of that. I grabbed some uh, broom sage there, twisted it up, put me a hole in it. But what I done, I didn't put any scent in it. I pointed the hole up the hill. My set was behind it down the hill with three little tiny punch holes with smell in the holes. And I made it look like I put a set in front of the hole on the uphill side and I blended the downhill side. I wish I showed that yesterday. I just did it yesterday, and uh, bam, coyote. I wish I'd have doubled. I, I got one more set there pretty close. But uh, something bit him. Something bit him on the nose there. He got a scar on his nose, and it ain't old. It's pretty fresh. But uh, I suppose they were fighting or screwing one of the two. He's definitely intact, like I said. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm glad to have that one. I'd like to get some more. Later, there was two more things I'd done. Of course, that bobcat bait that I make, it was still in there. I'm sure he was after some of that, but uh, there was a couple other things. I think Violator 7 and uh, Purple Haze. But uh, one little trick I'd done was we had a lot of rain. We had a lot of rain last night, and I caught this thing last night, so that's why it looked funny. It's kind of muddy and wet. We'll see. Uh, you can't tell till you get them dried out, really. It ain't the mange, I know that. I took barn dirt, and it was kind of gritty, gravelly, real fine. And uh, I put my peat moss like I normally do, but I put uh, that barn dirt right on the pan, about, I, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch deep, right on the pan. 
and it was my lowest point and uh, just a little bit I put some grass on top of that hoping the rain wouldn't wash it away and it worked now here's what put me in that frame of mind an old school trick to do is keep you some traps back and glue you a piece of sandpaper to your pan and some some of them old guys put just a drip of one of their scents on that sandpaper they'll dig it I don't know why but they do they dig it I don't know if I agree with putting scent on it or not but that was my frame of mind when I put that grit on that pan I had that coyote with two toes did it work I don't know but it ain't the last time I'm gonna do it <laughs> well it's two days later this is where I caught that coyote I had a lot of black on him got really cold barely snowed I redid everything yesterday because of the cold and that is so froze I'd say I got him early last night at uh, uh yep yeah. according to the grass around the chain and that hair right there I'd say it was a possum but, uh, ah Got a rock in the jaws. I wonder if that let him loose. He was in here a little while. I'll have to look it over. I don't know if I can thaw this out or not. I'll check the rest of them first. Later. Well, getting kind of tired of this. Possum number 21. If he was a little bigger, I'd skin him out. Later. Yeah. Slick. Oh my. I think we got one. I think we got one. Oh, don't fall. Yeah. We do have one. That's the same one I caught that little buck at. Well, I hope his fur is good. Whoop! Oh. Must be dominant or it'll lay down. All right. They usually stop when you yell at them. <laughs> All right, easy, easy. I'll talk this to you. This is bit. February nineteenth, I think it is. Finally got another one. Better looking fur, a lot better looking fur. He's still a wet. That's not a rub. I just ran my fingers to it. No mangel on this one, no rubbing. And I was wrong again. It's a male. There's my foot. Not bad to charge dog. Ah. I'm waiting on somebody to come get me out of here. I can't carry it. My back's done. Ooh, See you later. It's been too muddy. This was my walkthrough set they kept digging out. I changed it up on him, but look at them stakes. I'd say if he'd have pulled just right, had more time, he'd have pulled that out of the ground. That's not good. I'm going to move it a little bit. All Man. right, I call this my Christmas reset. <laughs> just named it today. It's working. It's worked here for a little while. Uh, this one I got three dirt holes, and I blowed them out a little bit bigger than I have been because I want y'all to see it, but right there is the pan, and if you look right up in there, there's my little Christmas wreath, it's got a hole all the way through it. Now there's a stick that goes down in there. And it comes all the way through this hole blocking him from my bobcat bait. I really like that bobcat bait, and I've had it stole several times, so I started doing that. What I was doing, I make that hole right there. I make it oblong. You can't tell for the grass, but it comes clear over in here because that's the way they dig a hole. And I've been just punching little tiny half-inch holes for those two and putting sand in them. But I call that my Christmas tree reset because... Uh, uh, it works. It gives a visual from a long ways away, and that's what's caught the last two coyotes. Hopefully we can keep this trend going. 
Have a good one. I ain't very good at judging these animals. That coyote I caught yesterday, I took it to certified scales. 37 pounds. And uh, it weighed to the to the half pound, they said, so it could have been a hair over, but at least 37 pounds. And the one before that, I weighed it on bathroom scales because my scales broke. You'd think it'd last longer than 30 years. <laughs> but uh, it was 30 pounds according to the bathroom scales. I weighed myself, and then I held the coyote, and I weighed myself again. But uh, who knows? But tip, no, tip of the nose to the tip of the tail, it was, uh, I think it was five foot nine inches, and the biggest one I had before that was, I think, five, two or something. But uh, I can't judge them worth a darn. They was a lot bigger than I thought they was. But, uh, and they was both males. I was wrong about that, too. <laughs> Don't tell my wife. She thinks I'm wrong all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. See if my bait got wet. Nope, we're good. Mm. Iron check. Oh, Get the buckets there. Uh. Uh. Oh, he's sleep over. Uh. Man, this gets old. That's grinner number 22. Sure am tired of that. See you on the next one. Howdy. It's February 23rd, I think. And, uh, yeah, 23rd. I ain't caught much else, but, uh, I had a couple possums, I think, or something. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. You got to understand something. There's people saying, boy, you're slaying them now, aren't you? And, uh, uh, I'm only running nine traps in a very small area. Uh, and I've had to be very patient and wait for these critters to come through here. I'm not a long liner and I can't, I can't do, I just can't do the long line thing. I, I could if I drove my side by side or something, but I don't want to tear up property. And we, ha and we have drove in and out uh, when we can without tearing up too much or if I need help, and I do sometimes. Uh, nine traps. That's it. Can you imagine if I was running like 150 traps on a big area? And I could if I wanted to, if I was able to. There's too many coyotes and there's too many bobcats. And... Here lately, I'm glad to see it. There's actually too many red fox. Uh, seeing a few gray fox. Uh, the other day, something tickled me. Makes you feel good as a trapper. I'm seeing grouse starting to breed. I haven't seen that in years and years. Used to be if I wanted grouse for supper, I'd go out and shoot four of them without a dog. You don't see that anymore. I saw grouse. I'm starting to get videos of... Uh, rabbits on my trail camera i haven't seen a whole lot of rabbit sign this year that was good to see but uh nine traps why would i do all this for nine traps what needs done i'm learning i'm learning how to tan i'm always learning more about trapping and it's beautiful outside i don't care if it's pouring down the rain I always see something in nature that either teaches me or just makes me smile. And uh, the leaves are budding, the flowers are popping up, and uh, pretty soon the peepers are going to start. And it's just, it's just good. It's just, it's just good for you. It's good for your soul. Get outside. You're, you're missing it, man. If you ain't outside, you're missing it. There's things to see out there that. If you don't believe in God, them things will make you believe it. It's amazing. I watched a hawk this morning for about 10 minutes. Holy crap.
He come close to me. Beautiful. Majestic. Just awesome. Made me smile. I like things that make me smile. Have a good one. We'll see you if I catch something. I ain't sure, but I think we might have a female. I was wrong last time. There's another one finally. Got to take care of it. Another day of season. If I catch anything, I'll let you know. I do appreciate y'all watching. Uh, subscribers, some good stuff coming up. I know people get tired of this trapping stuff. It can get boring. There's some good stuff in this one. I do appreciate it. Hopefully tonight we'll get something else that's cool and we can show you. If not, we thank you a lot. Last day of season, time to pull them. Kind of bittersweet, really. I enjoy learning. On to the next one. Nine leg holds, a dog proof, 18 stakes, and my hammer. I gotta figure out how to carry it out of here. <laughs> I think I'll call for help. Been a good season. Thank you all for watching. Please, please, please like, share, subscribe. Every little bit of that helps me. I thank you for watching. There's better things coming. Talk to you later.